Hello, Filmmakers World community, it's Darius. Hello. My origin is uh, from Iran. I was in Iran when I was a baby. I learned the language of a baby in Iranian and then I spoke French. My mother was French, so she spoke to me in French and I grew up in France. And my origin is also America, the United States, because I learned cinema in, in a school in America, in New York, in New York in a, at a time, uh, incredible time, in the late 70s. And uh, the Americans then when I came as a cameraman, when I started to work as a cameraman was in France. So that was my growing up as a cameraman was in France, so this part of my origin. And then I came to America and they opened their arms to me and they were the most generous people in the world and they made me, they let me work with them and made me do great films, you know. So my origin is now American also, in a way. It's true. Why, why, why not say? Passport is one thing, but I feel when I'm in the States, I work very comfortably with them, you know, with, with uh, uh, American uh, technicians and, and film directors come to America to work too, you know, so let's be very fair with that and let's be very true. But the origin is very interesting thing. How do my origins influence me? I don't know. I don't know because origin is a very, is a substance. Origin is a chemical, spiritual, substance you know? but i know i know it made me different than other people like we all different and i am part of this i'm part of this history and i realize it and i accept it i have to accept it and but i'm part of them i am one of them i'm a technician i don't feel like a technician because i always uh, like like some people say oh i don't want to be part of this you know they're from one country and they say i'm not they, i can feel they are not, they don't want to be there they want to be another person so I would say oh, I'm not a technician. I always deny the fact that I'm a technician. I would say I'm not a technician. I never say I'm an artist, but I never say I don't want to be a technician, you know. So, but I'm, the truth is I am a technician. I'm part of them. So, so when some people approach me, when, cam when camera assistant or operators or technicians, or let's call them technician, film crews, film crew is better. It's a camaraderie, it's a group of people. So when you're in a group of people, if you want to make films in cinema, you're a group of people. I mean, rarely you have one person, camera, which exists, everything exists in cinema. That's the beauty of cinema. But uh, I work with a group of people. So I'm a part of this group. I often feel part of this group and sometimes I feel, I feel disconnected. I feel not part of this group at times and I don't like it and I want to feel part and soon after I become part of the group again. And I don't know, when, and when I meet groups or when I meet people that I don't feel part of it, I don't work with them. I try not to work with them because I don't feel in the collaboration we can, we can have. But it rarely happens or no. no. Usually I, 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 what I love is creating a fa what I call a family around the director and around the producer. That's my favorite thing and I develop this to, throughout the years throughout the recent years and throughout the mid-recent years I developed this idea of creating a family around a, a director that I, my, what I used to call my crew, my camera crew my camera assistant, my key grip, gaffer or camera operator or digital technician if we shoot digital it's my, it was my crew I feel it's our crew it's the director's crew it's our crew, we are part of it of a group that making a film, that making his film or her film. You know what I mean? That's really, really important to understand a little bit more of where I am in my head. One of the most very extraordinary experiences, one of the most beautiful experiences. This is the, this is the movie that's not, it's not finished yet, but it will, it will be for later in the year. Armageddon Time was actually shot after Inaitu's film. It's a smaller film, so it was released now and shot in Cannes. But uh, Inaitu's incredible experience in Mexico. I can't talk much about it because it's the movie is... Until the movie is finished, it's very important to keep secrets of the movie and for the director and everyone. I think it's better. But I, I can only say one of my very favorite films. My main inspiration comes from directors and the story they want to tell, the scripts, of course. My main inspiration, if I'm on practical locations, comes from the, the feeling of the place, the area, the location, the, the houses, the place. Like now, for instance, when I answer this question, I have to find a, a point in time and a point in place 
on this planet. So I think about America, I think about um, New Jersey, the Queens, where we shot um, where we shot Armageddon Time. And I found the inspiration through words, the words of James Gray, telling me the story of his family, what, what his family was, what he represented, and how it vanished completely. And he, tell, he told me words like loss, like ghosts, like it all disappeared, they're all gone, they, they're, you know, then they're not there anymore, it's a ghost story. So these words was, were my inspiration. That's just an example. It's not anecdotic, it's not an anecdote, but it's an example of a director inspiring me. So my inspiration comes from there and it came from the area where I shot. It came, we, James and the producer and the first AD and the crew, we, they, do, they took us, they took me and they took us to uh, areas that I didn't know, like Jersey, like Queens. I, I'd been there very briefly in my life, but never lived there, never been there. And when you shoot a movie in a place, it's like you're living there. Like when I discover a little bit the valley, I love to discover more of the valley in LA. When I, when I discovered the valley on um, Too Old to Die Young with Nick Reffen, Nicola Winding Reffen, I discovered an amazing, amazing place, a soul, a fertile soul for storytelling, you know? And I realized why these great filmmakers uh, uh, like Paul Thomas Anderson make movies in the valley because it's one of the greatest places for cinema, for people who love cinema, you know? And uh, and in Jersey, in uh, in uh, Queens, it's, it's very different, but it's the same thing. For a movie, that was the place that the movie uh, respires, is perspired of this feeling of these areas, the way where Queens, where, where James was, you know. When you go there, the movie is already there. Then it takes the genius, the greatness of James to put it together. But the, the movie is already there, it's latent, it's ready to come out and film.